so uh, one of the ways we can work a little into our more of our uh, full uh, our downside hip uh, function from a kind of a full uh, stretch kind of full eccentric load is when we go through our, our lower oblique sit diagonal sit side bridge type stuff when we get that initial crease across to load the back of the hip that's very uh, crucial to get that full um, kind of like long load across the backside hip when we get our initial drive as we lower back into the motion we want a nice feather soft landing into the ground especially for that last little bit like those last couple inches as we lower down to make sure we have uh, some some nice hip control and um, torso control through the entire uh, entire range of motion uh, one of the major form faults with this exercise is if you come across you will get to here and then all of a sudden just walk into the ground um, not control not smooth and it doesn't set you up for a good drive out of the motion, so we're not going to load the muscle well. Uh, so this 90-90 uh, this position that I like to set people up into correlates to the kind of bottom of a squat or lunge. So when I'm in this position, I'm almost like I'm in a lunge and you threw me onto my side. Basically, much like so. So when I'm coming out of a lunge and I try to drive out like so, and sit back down into it, that, that bottom position or the bottom position of the squat as I go into it, if I don't have that hips to be at the bottom, we're going to have some issues, whether it's um, excessive anterior chain tightness, whether you have a um, little bit of tracking issue in the knee, or if you start to compensate with lower back or over tighten through a QL or some other, um, uh, some other stabilizer to do some work. So if I'm having trouble getting through this motion and that initial push, um, especially if we need to train some hip and we don't quite have the arch stability yet, I'll come down to this position. So I've taken my arch and my foot out of the equation. So when I go across the ear and I raise up, I can really work that slow lowering down into the hip as I go across and back down into it, really thinking of that crease going into the hip as I go back and forth. Um, I really want to feel that like a feather soft touch down on the ground. And as we're getting into that, we're going to get that same, uh, that same kind of glute hip dig that we're going to get at the bottom of the lunge of the squat. But we uh, forced ourselves to add in a little bit of torso stability because now I have to hold the side bridge to get a little extra feedback from the elbow coming in. And we subtracted the arch stability component. So if we either have a foot issue that we haven't fully connected to the ground yet, or if we have a stability motor control um, torso issue that is not creating a good platform for a hip to function, if we get into this position, we can tap into those a little bit more to try and get a little better dig out of our hip.